What's going on there, YouTubers, gamers, and fellow hobbyists out there? Welcome to another episode of On The Bench with Pete. And I'm going to use this episode to try and crack on with my Congo figures. I really, really want to get going with that and sort out these guys so I can uh, start work on my Forest Tribes faction, which I'm really looking forward to. I may do other bits and pieces as well, as usual. I've got this rather nifty terrain um, piece um, here another another bits and bobs that I want to work on so um, grab yourselves a brush and a model or two because if you don't know it this is the series that you put on in the background whilst you hobby or paint yourselves and, and I just ramble on about various things various topics and uh, you know sometimes you have a bit of a laugh so let's get to it Okay, uh, let's move these glasses out of the way. Uh, so these are the Congo chappies I've got at present. Uh, various adventure types um, and, a, and a couple of um, other ones which could be used for various purposes such as uh, the reporter or scientist. Um, in the white men's expedition um, box so I've, I've got to get on with these guys now before I do that I'm going to do a quick dry brush of Terminatus stone onto this chappy here on his base so he's um, along with he's up with the other guys and the reason he hasn't got it on is because obviously he was the last one I did and I was waiting for um, the Agrax Earth Shade to dry on his um, on his base, so so that's the reason for that. Oh, what a month it's been! Various things and another. It's been crazy. Um, I've had minor surgery, and uh, that seems to be healing well. Um, I still haven't been back to the hospital yet to get the results, but I'm I'm ever hopeful that it will be fine. And I'll just get on with uh, with my life at that point. Well, which I'm doing anyway, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Always a little bit of a worry, isn't there? Right, so. that. I won't do any more to their bases until they're finished I don't think. Like you know tufts of grass. Which I think is quite important for these character guys. And I will I will definitely do that. So they got some socks to um Paint and shirts. Now, what would be a good colour for socks? Uh, I think kind of a green and a kind of a light green as well, maybe for this top. What sort of greens have I got? I'm after a sort of olive green. <laughs> Golden olive. See how that works out for a shirt, shall we? Uh, so I put it on him. So this is something you don't normally get to see. Is the um, elimination process. Well, he's kind of got an olive green thing going on already. In fact, if I pop my glasses on, I can have a better, better look. Uh, He's going to get it um, olive green. He 
says he's not too bummed up that is no I've not got anything I can lock it with it should be something here Got a little um, drill bit here. I'm not gonna. Gosh, this lid is super bunged up. And why, I don't know. Up because I'll need that later. In the meantime, you still see my Congo figures. <laughs> Probably come up with some better ideas than I have thus far. Irritating, to say the least. Oh well. Yeah. That's the twelve. I want this on now. Well, we've got some paint out. <laughs> More than enough, I believe. And then I'll, um, yeah. Try not, see, I'm trying not to make a mess here. Got my cup of willow bark tea today, by the way. going to be drinking. Um, so I'm going to put some Lemayan medium with this to see if it will give me a bit more control over the paint. Yeah, I want it, um, I mean I want it thinned down, I don't want it like running like water. I want it to kind of hold together a bit better, so let's try and uh, get that going now. Brush, I think we'll use an old favourite, my Windsor Newton triple zero. Okay. Let's 
seems to be quite adequate. I should have done this shirt underneath first, I think. See, it looks to me like a shirt, but like a tight shirt. So I might do a blue shirt underneath. Let's see how I get on with that. work. So here we are. So what a month, as I said. What a month it's been. I may want to put some more light on the subject here. I had to sell my old car because it was getting... It was getting tired, as they say. Bit more and more things going wrong all the time, and it's just costing an absolute fortune to keep on the road. Couldn't have that, so I had to get a new one, or well, I had to get rid of it. But I am getting a new one. Just a little run around to get me from A to B. Which is all I need. All of green appears to be going on okay. Shine it shows up better than the whatever green it was. Someone banging around those red in. Hear thump, bang, crash. It's part and parcel of a normal day around here. Yeah. So I've been watching um, YouTube. Oh, YouTube did a really strange thing to me the other day. It, um, it decided I should be upgraded to the new uh, version of YouTube, which I've since got rid of and gone back to the old. I didn't like it, nah. Not one bit. Didn't like it at all. This wasn't just a case of, um, you know, being disgruntled at a change. It was. It wasn't working as well for me. It wasn't. It just kept playing my intro video all the time, and I couldn't find a way of turning that off like you can with uh, the old version. And uh, yeah, you know, I just thought, nah, not for me. Not not liking it looked more clunky and basic as well so I'm happy with that that's an olive green shirt now he could have an olive green shirt too Um, 
but I won't. Something telling me not to. Don't got anything on him that could be olive green. Not as he really. Uh, maybe the band around his hat could be green. a little bit eccentric, shall we? Retired officer. That's another character you can be. He seems to fit the bill. Retired officer or big game hunter. That's another one. for his trousers and a lighter blue for his shirt. So correct blue for his trousers. Damped the brush to thin that down. And that's going to be his trousers. I mean, technically, this guy could be a big game hunter. You don't need to be old to be a hunter. So when you say the word big game hunter, I automatically think of old man. That's the image I have. He's more of an adventurer though, isn't he? He's more of an explorer. Or like an archaeologist or something. Should I do shirt white? Looking forward to another game of Congo sometime, though not in a rush at the moment as um, I, I walked to my friends last time, I don't have transport right now. True I could borrow my wife's car to do it but um, I'm not, I don't really like doing that so uh, probably won't and uh, like I say yeah I'm not in a great rush to do that. Alright, so that's the blue. His trousers. Um, yeah, I think maybe a white shirt or a light blue shirt. Uh, 
does for him. Blacken his boots up a bit more. Uh, what about this character here? Does he want blue trousers? Yeah, we'll give him blue trousers too. I think so. jungle in jeans <laughs> he's exploring that's the main thing it does remind me of um, uh, well, I forget his name now from um, the mummy though is it Brendan Fraser? It's raining here now in Plymouth. You can hear the rain on the roof. So particularly glad I'm inside. And it's good to be getting back to these uh, uh, videos. I know I've got one of these out already um, since I sort of missed a week but um, yeah it doesn't sit well with me missing one and the hobby calls I've got to say it does <laughs> planning on doing some more tutorials in the near future as well uh, I want to try and do it at a different camera angle if I can. So I bought a couple of um, lead extensions and things to try and accommodate that that wish. Um, so I have the tripod to my left and look down. I think that might be um, something I might, I might like to do. Um, right. Um, a little bit of lead belcher here. So I'm going to use, excuse me, oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to use on the, um, the officer guy here. Can I pull any out? Yeah, yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, yeah, nice little. Time. Like he should have. Looking at that buckles and things. Yeah. I think that 
looks good. I think that's a handkerchief in his top pocket. Still in hand of this hunter's knife or, or explorer, or whatever he is. There we That's fine, I can that one. Okay, wow, we're nearly halfway already. I don't feel like I haven't even done anything yet, really. Wow. So, I don't think I need the blue anymore. Bit of medium. Frankly, I've got a spin in the man medium as well. Uh, small brush. I know there's a lot of paint there, but um, it just flew out. Same 
colour shirt underneath, I think. Could have done him as um, like best skin there, but he's not going to be. So he's got a beige shirt. See when the wash goes over it. End of the day, if it didn't turn out how I wanted, I'll just strip them down and start again. I'm quite happy with the way it's coming along. I think I think it'll work. I hope it'll work, but I think it will. So what else has happened this month? Just trying to think. Well, obviously it's the school holidays and that. Um, daughter's been home from college. But she's been away like three weeks. A bit of a jolly with uh, NCS and different other things, different other activities. It's very active holidays. <laughs> okay. Got a little bit of a belly going on in this guy. Not too bad.
triangles covered here. How strange. How the leather strap comes out when you paint that beige colour onto the shirt. silence that's because I'm concentrating guys really concentrating then tongue out and everything do you do that when you concentrate stick your tongue out stick your tongue out hold your breath <sighs> I've learned to breathe more now though. So it comes with the practice, I think. Just get used to it, you know. Do you ever wish there were more colours? I do. I mean, like everything's derived from, like you know, your basic colours and the spectrum and all that. But sometimes I wish there was more <laughs> and more primary colours and things like that. Oh, excuse me. I know we can't conceive of more colours, but we can hypothesise. Imagine seeing in a spectrum of light that had more. It's not enough to say colours are more vibrant than that. You just you'd have to experience it. Bit random on there, but hey, I wanted to get something good going today, so uh, get these chaps a bit further on for me would be grand. Yeah. That's two chappies 
Försjönsta. I got this guy as well. Which I may do. Oh, tea's going down well. And last mouthful, might as well get it out of the way. There we are. I think. Yeah, I think I'll do his shirt that colour too. Something different perhaps for him. Uh, do his tie. breaking out the black later but while we're going with shirts let's get this guy done that way these three will have a kind of similar look Really looking forward to starting my Forest Tribes uh, box set. Of course, I've got to do the preparation work first. And I know I'll probably get fed up with painting the, um, the brown on for the skin, but um, you know, it's like painting anything where you're painting a few models, quite a few models rather. It's okay. go over belts as well but since I'm breaking out the um, black later I can do that then don't mind that so what am I most looking forward to about doing my forest tribes well I've been able to play Congo here at home that's what I'm most looking forward to um, May do a basic how to play uh, vid. easier than I thought it would be. Easier access. No, I'm tempted to paint his shirt that colour now. <laughs> I am. In fact, I'm going to. 
that way. I don't know. He can kind of be one of them. Don't worry, I'll be going over the the belts in the tidy up stage. stage. I've got some moustaches and things to do as well. Well, this is one of the best things about painting for me watching a model come together get a life of its own with him having this colour shirt. It's the thing when you, you're painting models, it's not really for an army as such, it's, it's like sort of faction and each one's kind of individual. It's kind of fun. really painted all this in the wrong order um, didn't go from the inside out like I usually like to do primarily because I was not really knowing what colours I was doing for different things but you see I've learned something there I'm not going to do that again I'm like going to decide on what colours I'm going to do beforehand or try to as much as I can. You know, or just look at the model and say, no, I'm gonna do the skin first or whatever. So what type of skin am I gonna paint? Dark, light, whatever. And then just do that. Not say to myself, oh I'll be careful, I'll go around the you know, the edges carefully and it'll be fine because it's a pain. Not as big of a pain as some things I might add to. A uh, decals! <coughs> That's the cutting of decals I don't like primarily. Coming together, he likes this. 
be great setting up a, a Congo table here at home. Looking forward to it. I'm going to make my own scenarios too, I think. I kind of like the idea of an archaeological dig scenario. Where obviously the archaeologists are disturbing like sacred grounds and digging up bones and things and um, either the forest tribes or African tribes African kingdoms, that's it. Or various other even the well the other one I can't remember the name though. The Zanzibarians could oppose it. Or even other white men's expeditions. Just different nationalities and things. I think there's you know, there's room for all sorts there. He's got one of those shirts as well. He's like, Where, damn, where'd you get that shirt? I want one myself. Let's clean some of this up now. Not the most efficient, I know. But, uh, yeah. Beauty of glass. These are just sliding glass, the little sliding glass doors, I think, or little glass shelves in a unit, an old unit, bookshelf or something like that. I can't remember now. Uh, right, so done with the beige. Thinking green now, I'm not going olive green, uh, I'm not going olive drab. Well, my after is an olive drab, I think it was called. No, I used to have one. But I don't think that's the name of a, a GW paint somehow, do you? Could have used it on that. 
Guard green, striking green. Mm. Mint green definitely isn't mint green. Well, brown and violet could also be it, but it's not what I'm after. It's a mystery, for sure, but I guess I'll just have to manage without it. Hmm. I know it's a... The colour I have got, I know that. <clears throat> Somewhere. time then we're gonna to have to try and find an alternative Def Guard Green uh, Green Grey which is pretty much what Def Guard Green is, is Green Grey so I'll put those to one side two green greys okay. brown violet Bit of a darker version of it. Striking green. Thinking for their hats primarily. Panzer Olivos. It's going to really annoy me not, not knowing where that is. Uh, so that for their hats or that for their hats? I'm not thinking green grey for their hats actually. Yes, that's what I think. So I think I'm going to go for it. rounds. So green grey for the hat, green grey for the win. Try it on this uh, smaller hat first. Well, 
not a smaller hat, but a flatter hat. That's the one that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Might use some of the other field drabs and all that for the for the backpacks and things. It's just going to be a case of look, I've got different hats, dude. That's one good thing about them being kind of individual. I mean, I want them to be individual, but I want them to have a kind of a uniformity. Do you know what I mean? Like they've, like they've got different gear, but they've been to the same um, camping shop or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So I'll pop this up. I mean, it will come all come more alive when I put the washes on the on those base colours. Rain's really coming down here now. No, I'm up for my hour, but I just want to get this bit sorted. As always, let me know what you're painting or building. I find that of huge interest. scenery and things at certain times which is cool I'll be doing that in the future so there yeah yeah that might work I like that I like that not got band around the top but um, yeah I like that a lot so green grey green grey won the day hallelujah Good to be getting back hobbying again because I haven't done it for so long. And working towards um, a game. I mean, it's true I could set up a, a game of 40k now if I wanted. You know, you know, get that ready to play. But. Congo's a lot quicker and easier to set up, I think, and easier to play as well. Saying that, I suppose any game is easier to play if you're more familiar with it. I'm certainly not as familiar with the new Warhammer now as I am with Congo for instance. Yeah. Another hat. So we're at the, we're at the hour, I know that, but uh, get these hats done then I'll call it a day. Well I'll get these hats done with this colour anyway. I think I came out here with no top on, sort of like no jacket sort of thing, so kind of a bit stuck out here now with the rain. Oh dear, what a shame. A bit of a question for you guys as well, those of you that watched these videos. What do you do when the video's finished? Do you carry on? Do you stop? Do you watch another one? 
Let me know, I'd be very interested to find out that one. Usually when I'm doing this and I'm watching other videos like this, I'm, I'm binge watching them, you know. I can't get enough of them though, personally. Paint along videos are, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, my favourite to watch. Prefer them over battle reports. I mean, battle reports are okay, don't get me wrong. And it's nice to see a new game that I've not... Um, played before or something like that in effect and you know how, how the rules work and so on that's what I find that interesting but my favorite videos are the paint along ones where I can paint and watch and listen that's just the way I roll and there we are there's a hat for him now would I be no I think I'll do him a different one altogether yeah, so come on our way there. So these are the these are the guys thus far. Like a tag bunch, which I'm going to carry on with. Um, thanks uh, for painting along with me. So I'll take my glasses off, and I'll end it there, like so. Right. Thanks for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always, to, to make this video and to know that you guys uh, are painting along uh, with me. So, thank you so much. Um, remember, all brushes lead to war. I will see you on the next video, and bye for now.